In this video, we're gonna go over the global settings of your authorized website, meaning elements that are on all of your website pages. The global settings is one of the coolest features about your authorized website. And the reason it's called the global settings is because that means that it's gonna go globally across your site, meaning it's gonna edit things that are showing up on every page of your authorized website. Such as, and we're about to dive into this, but for instance, a button, like your call to action button. That doesn't need to be typed into every single web page because we're gonna type it once in the global settings so it can show up on every web page and look the same, as well as a background image and a call to action headline. Pretty exciting stuff, pretty easy to edit and pretty powerful to make sure that your whole website is congruent on every page. Let's dive in and see how easy this is to get set up right now. You'll notice as always, I'm in the tab on the left called website, meaning I'm in my website editor. And now across the top, I'm on the tab that's called global, meaning I'm in the global settings that will affect all pages on my authorized website. The very first thing that I notice here is it says my call to action button text. That's the button that's located at the bottom of every page. When a user gets done viewing each web page, we wanna give them a call to action. So I've got one set up now that I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste into the global call to action button text. And that says, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and put let's get started because that's what I want to ask my consumers to do as they get to the bottom of my page or see any of my buttons. I wanna tell them, let's get started. As always, I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom. I'm gonna push publish website. We're gonna wait just a moment for that red bar to flash across the top, letting me know that my website has been updated. And then we'll take a look at exactly what that looks like in my global call to action button text. I'm gonna click the colored button as normal so it pops up my home page, and I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom where I can see that button. But before I do that, I wanna show you right quick, we also are showing that button right here on your home page. So it says, let's get started just as I'd input, as well as if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice that my button now says, let's get started. That is my global call to action button text. Let's follow this editing by jumping back into the back end and let's update our call to action background image and headline. First of all, I'm gonna go and grab a background that I think has something to do with my message and that's a little bit of a business look. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go select that background image. I'm gonna, uh, as always, select that image, allow it to upload, let the red bar flash across the top. Boom, I now know that my background image has been updated. But while we're here, I'm also going to add my call to action, headline, and subtext. So what I've added is uh, a headline that I'm gonna paste in right here. And that's gonna say, let's connect and build your real estate dreams. That's kind of the main line that I wanna show. And I'm gonna add a sub line right below that. That's gonna say, leverage years of experience and customize customer service. As always, I'll scroll to the bottom and click publish. This is a very important publish because it's gonna be editing every page on my website, adding that image and that headline and subheadline. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like now. So I'm gonna to click to view my homepage once again. I'm gonna allow that page to refresh and scroll to the bottom and check out what this update looks like. You'll notice that this cool row on the bottom of my website has now been built. It's got the background image as I chose to upload. It's got my headline, let's connect and build your real estate dreams. And it's got my subheadline, let's leverage years of experience and customize customer service. The other cool part, of course, let's get started. That is my global button call to action that will launch my pop-up on every single page. There's one more element in the back end that is under the global settings and that is a footer disclaimer, meaning that all the footers on your website would have this disclaimer. And I've already pre-populated one, so let's go ahead and grab that now. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my footer disclaimer. I'm gonna go down to the area that says global footer disclaimer. I'm gonna highlight the text that's currently there, paste in my disclaimer, push publish, and once again, we'll wait for that red bar to slide across the top. The cool part again, this is updating the footer text of 
all of the pages of my site and now all of the pages will have a disclaimer. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my homepage and see what that footer disclaimer looks like now. You'll notice below the links in your footer and the logo and your social media icons here, there is an area for your footer disclaimer. Whatever you need to say on every page that makes you legally okay to display the information, you can go ahead and add that anytime under your global settings, under the global footer disclaimer. As always, be in touch if you've got questions. I know that's a little bit touchy, but it's really magical. Once you dive in here, see how easy it is to edit one or two elements and have your full website updated in just a few moments. Cool, so thanks for checking out this video. I hope you've learned a little bit more about how to grow your business. And of course, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all the exciting stuff we've got coming from Authorized. So you may have a couple more questions, and we love that. And that's why we're available to answer those questions anytime by emailing us at team at authorized.company or connect with us on any of our social media platforms as well. If you've not yet created your authorized account, you can do so for free by going to authorized.company. And of course, be sure to check out our other training videos and leave a comment below because we love to hear your feedback.